Uh, right now this engine's got about $230,000, almost a quarter of a million. Uh, but before we open the uh, valve cover, we're going to clean all the uh, debris that it's around it and all these uh, particles of dust that uh, before they get inside. So uh, we're going to use uh, air with an air nozzle and we're just going to go all the way around. The uh, tools that we're going to need for the uh, valve adjustments are really simple. We're going to need a torque wrench, a uh, 916 angle wrench, 5mm Allen white marker in this case, a uh, mirror, quarter inch ratchet, a uh, couple filler gauges, 10 10 thousandths and the 20,000s. The 10,000 is going to be for our intake and uh, 20,000 for our exhaust uh, rocker. Okay, now that we got the valve covered apart, uh, first thing, we're going to do a quick inspection just to uh, make sure that there's nothing out of the ordinary. You know, you don't see any type of uh, pieces, broken pieces on top. Make sure that the springs are still intact. There's no broken springs. So, um, You know the hardest one to look at is the you know number six. But uh Before we can even start doing a valve adjustment, we gotta follow specifications on this particular engine. So, uh, to bring this engine to top dead center, TDC, we're gonna start by removing the uh, crankcase breather. The way to do that is uh, by aligning the fuel pump with the marking on the uh, gear cover. The next step is to follow the sequencing that the comments calling for for this particular engine. We know that uh, cylinder number one is at top dead center. So the way the sequencing works is that we're going to adjust intake and exhaust. So we're going to mark them like that. Then. It follows intake, exhaust, intake, exhaust. Then you're going to check the uh, filler gauge and you got to feel small drag when you're pulling it out.
We're gonna bar over the engine. So uh, 360 degrees. Right now we're on uh, the update center number six. Now that we know that uh, we have um, cylinder number six of TDC, we're gonna proceed by laying off our sequencing. So it'll be intake exhaust then it's gonna be number five intake number four exhaust number three intake and number two exhaust we're down to the uh, last one Just to remind you again, uh, tools needed for this particular job right now that we're doing adjustment. A uh, couple filler gauges, 10 thousands for intake and 20 thousands for the exhaust. We're using a five millimeter Allen wrench and a 13 or 916. I'm using a 916 because it's got the perfect angle for the, uh, the nut. Uh, the final torque for the nut, it's gonna be 18 foot pounds. So once you run through all of them, just make sure that you're torquing them right at the right specifications. In this case, 18 foot-pounds. We're gonna grab a rag and just wipe all the uh, debris on the outside. That way when that valve cover it sits on top of it, you'll have a perfect seal. So very carefully we're just gonna we're gonna slide in the uh, cover that way we don't knock any dust inside just like that. And we're gonna install the Isolators. We're going to hand tie every single one of them just to make sure they're all there. We don't want to start torquing till we know that the cover is sitting perfectly square and we can look all the way around the seal on both ends. We're going to start in the middle and we're going to spread it out. Just so we have a perfect seal. For our final torque on our valve cover, we're gonna go with 10 foot-pounds and we're gonna start from the uh, center out. That's gonna be our sequencing for the uh, 
torquing valve cover bolts and isolators. Don't forget to clean the uh, surface of the uh, crankcase breather, otherwise it's going to start leaking fumes. Okay, 